Alright, so this video is about lists. So a lot of times in statistics you want to put values in lists so you can do some operations on it. How do you do that? That's easy. Go to stats button and then click number one or enter and it gives you the list. There are six lists. If you move up, you'll see there are six of them um, or you can think of them as columns. You can also see that here you got L1, L2, and L3, and so forth. So to enter data, it's pretty straightforward. Make sure you are down there and just add some data. Three, enter. We'll just add some data. Okay. And let's say the next column over. Let's say you wanted to add some more data. Yes, you can put negative values if you wish. Okay. Even zero. And then one of the things that people always want to do is clear the column or the list. That's not a problem. If you go up all the way to the top, right? If you go all the way to the top, you click on clear, and you can see the values disappear until you enter, right? Again, you go over here on the top, you highlight the list, and you can see that all the values are there, right? and then you press clear and enter. So let's say I was putting some data in here, right? Okay. And I want the third column where I can add these or maybe even uh, square this and then add those. How do you do that? Well, you go all the way to the top, it says equals. And what we can do is we can tell we can pick L1 and L1 is in blue so second L1 and let's say we'll subtract right what do we want to subtract we want to subtract let's say L2 so we go second L2 and then when what we want to do is we want to add right let's say L2 squared right enter it fills those values up so that's really neat. One thing that does happen a lot is deleting the columns, but not clearing the columns, but deleting the column. So for example, if you go up here, instead of hitting clear, you hit delete, it deletes the column and it disappears. And you're like, where is it? <laughs> well, it's just hidden. So to bring it back, you're gonna have to use the insert function. So second, insert, and it inserts the column, but you gotta name it so second L1 and then we and you can see name it what L1 and then enter and there it is so that gives you some ideas of the list these lists again are used to do operations like in the third list column or to do other functions like finding the mean meaning the mode, and or standard deviations and stuff we'll talk about those in other videos